Okay, so I have a previous video on opening Fear and Hunger in RPG Maker. The first step is decrypting the image files of the game. The decryptor I have in the description was taken down. I don't know why. There is a re-upload of it uh, here. But I also came up with an alternate way in case it's necessary. First you go to this website, which I've linked at the top of the description, and you just go to Restore Images. Then you're going to need to go to your Fear and Hunger folder, which will typically be like Steam, Steam Apps Common, Fear and Hunger 2, Termina Fear and Hunger, uh, and then from there go into www and then images. This is going to be an inconvenient method, but I think it should work. It's got like the tile sets, so that's probably most important. So we effectively just take all of these and drop them in there and then restore original images. And there's going to be some that it didn't work on because they weren't even the right type, but that's fine. We don't care. Then I guess we just save them all as a zip file. Then you open up that zip file however you want, and you've got all the images. Now you can actually just toss them in there. Any repeat files you probably don't need to replace. So there's two ways of doing this. You could actually delete all of the files, though that may run into issues if you like you delete DS store, which didn't get put into this folder, so be careful. It would make it simpler to use though, or you could just take all the files and move them over. And that will work in RPG Maker MV, uh, though if you try editing an image, uh, it won't carry over it because it'll be using the RPG MVP file. It's like it uses RPG MP MVP files first and then the JPEGs, I think? PNG, okay. And then the PNGs. So if the RPG MVP files are gone entirely, then you can actually just edit game images whenever you want. So like I said, here I have RPG Maker, and the tile sets are loaded, but a lot of the other images still aren't here. So like if I go, you can see there's no enemies. Normally enemies are at least partially visible. And if I open up any of these files, it's not going to actually display any images because they're still encrypted. So we have to just do this for as many folders as we think we'll need. <laughs> so like, do you, are you gonna need these? Probably not, but you will likely want like characters and enemies. So we'll just go through doing that as well. Thank you, clear file list. So we go to a different folder, slowly select every image, and then throw, throw 739 files onto this. And it'll do it. We can save that as a zip file and then open it again. And here's all the images decrypted, which we can then toss back into here. And it's, it takes a while to figure it out. Make sure to click clear file list in between folders. So this is a very inconvenient way of doing it, but it is a functional way of decrypting all the image files if the program that automatically does it is gone. So I believe with those three folders, characters, enemies, and tile sets, I got most of the important files. Um, like you can see, here's Tanaka standing there, everybody's in their positions. Here's, you know, all the plants are loaded in properly, you can see them see this tile is going to be Tanaka. You know, you can see the ritual circles, you can see the tile sets. If you open the database, you can see not all of the character images, because I didn't, uh, I haven't decrypted those yet, but I could have decrypted them. They'd be in, they'd be in faces, for the faces, and the battler sprites would be in pictures. But you don't really need to view those to, like, look at things in RPG Maker or edit things. Those are just Optional, you could do them. I'm just saving time on this. <laughs> the enemies are all visible here, you know. So this is a... The battle backgrounds are gone. You could have... Those would be in, as you might expect, battle backs. I guess battle backs 2, specifically. So if you really wanted to see those, you'd have to decrypt that too. But I think for the most part, tile sets, most important and characters and enemies is going to get most of the rest of it. And you can functionally look at things in RPG Maker 
as you'd usually be able to if you had decrypted everything. 